I'm deep in the woods here. <laughs> deep in the woods. I'm not deep in the woods, am I? Deep in the woods or just in a parking lot? Mm. I'm not in a parking lot. I'm deep in the woods. I'm hunting for Halloween here. We're looking for pumpkin pails, aren't we, Laura? It's still October. We're still going to the thrift store. We're still hoping that we're going to find some vintage Halloween. So let's go over to Unique in Union, New Jersey today and see if we can find any vintage Halloween or actually I kind of heard some sleigh bells in the distance. I think there might be some vintage Christmas at the thrift store today. Uh, so let's go see if we can find any of that. Janine, they've got the Christmas pins. They've got the Christmas Oh, but look at those ghosts. Those silly little ghosties. Oh, that's something you would like. That snowman on a candy cane. Oh, I do like that little snowman on a candy cane. I like that one. That's cute. Almost looks homemade. The stocking? Yeah. That's cute. You got all your little Santas. All the things you could ever want. That's true. Our colors today are green, pink, and yellow. Look, Janine, it's us. Ladies Christmas. Always gotta look at the ladies Christmas. Are there any vintage ones here? That one's sort of cute. Oh. More presents, please. More presents, please. I like this little penguin one with the Kmart tag on it for a whopping $9.99. Hmm. Interesting. We've also got some t-shirts. All I want for Christmas is tacos. That's funny. Those. Um, oh, this reminds me of... I think that's it. This, this, little, this little plush mm -hmm. dog reminds me of Olive. How she has to sit after her food. That does look like Olive. Oh. She, she has to like sit up. Uh-huh. Cute. Look how cute this is, guys. It's $7.50. I love the little snowman and the little um, tree button. How cute is that? Adorable. It looks like a Christmas tree forest out here, Janine. Wow. It's a lot. They still have Halloween though. A little bit of Halloween. What's up? Oh, Mr. Christmas Advent Tree for $20, but it's 50% off. All the little drawers hold a little ornament that you put on the tree. That's fun. That's cute. Mm hmm Just the little bitest of Halloween out. But nothing that really is standing out, unfortunately. I think we're on to Christmas, like, all the time. Although this little guy's cute. This little container, Janine. Mm hmm This little container. Oh, it's a little tin. Yeah. Tin. That's sort of cute. It is cute, yeah. Yeah. Cool. For two dollars. There's a little uh, bag of thingamajigs here for Janine. What are those? Dinosaur heads? Skull heads? Um, little mummy? Little mummy. Move on. Something. I think I'm ready to look at the Christmas. Wow, guys, they have all the Christmas out. There are bags and shells filled. Um, a Christmas. Wild. Lots of these like bags just filled with like random Christmas doodads, but sometimes you find some, you know, fun surprises in these that are a bit older and more vintage than others. Santa Claus cookie jar made in Taiwan. So Taiwan's gonna make it from like the 80s. Huh, cute. I didn't. That's a nice nativity set. Mm -hmm. Maybe made in Italy or Japan. Also have an 25 issue. cents. No markings on this one. It's broken though. Eight dollars. I thought this bag was sort of interesting. It has these um, Hallmark made in Taiwan like plush ornaments in there. Oh. This one on the top too. Mm -hmm. And then there's also a little elephant, flocked oh, elephant. Oh, yeah, and this little Santa guy there. That's he a looks a little older bag. too. Yeah. It's three dollars for the bag. Some cute things in here. Mm -hmm. 1978. A whole other row filled with Christmas. This caught my eye for a second, for like a millisecond. I was like, is this a Santa um, picture? It's, I mean, it's a mug. Not what I was thinking though. 
Janine. Hi. Someone left this on the aisle for me. What did I leave? Oh, some dinosaurs? Are they Christmas dinosaurs? Wow, lucky day, lucky day. Now there are some really nice Christmas mugs up here that I spotted. Where's the one? I really like this one. I think this is so nostalgic. Seasons Greetings 1985. Look at that Christmas tree, guys. 99 cents. Love this. Oh my goodness, look how cute this is, guys. This right off the bat to me looks a little bit newer. By newer, I mean like not from the 50s or 60s. This is probably like 80s. Oh, but it's really cute. It's got a little Santa and the snowman for $2.99. It's a little bank. This is probably Taiwan 80s. A little scuffing on the nose, but probably could be fixed up real easy. Isn't that adorable, Janine? That's very cute. And I also found this mug that I thought was really pretty. Ooh, the red on the Isn't inside. that nice? Yeah. 1985. Very nice. Holding that camel? Got a camel in your hand? I see him. It's a nice camel. That is a nice camel. I don't camel. think there's any other pieces to it, though. It's part of this uh, Thomas Kincaid's nativity. Hmm. All Throne Village. It's a nice camel. It's a nice camel, yeah. Also. Okay. It's holding on to it. There's also a lot of mugs up here, I was saying. Yeah. This yeah. one with the Santa like... Silly Santa sliding down that handle. Yeah, Janine noticed that there's a bunch of like um, cups and saucers that are really cute. I really like this one too with the little um, village on the bottom. That's cute. That's pretty. Isn't that nice? I like the windows. Yeah, they remind me of the Putz House windows. They're like little decals. Oh yeah. Oh. Huh. I thought that would be like a nice lit up. Yeah, it's nice. I might get a cart. Oh, okay. Um, I just spotted these hot. Oh my gosh, I thought this was lit for a second. Oh boy. Um, holiday penguins caught my eye. Because who doesn't love a good holiday penguin? Sakura, good brand. Look at these penguins. They're big. That's a big penguin shaker. Interesting. Hmm. How much are they asking for these dandy penguins? Four dollars and they're fifty percent off. That's actually not bad if you ask me. I'm gonna look these up. I don't know if anybody else is as into holiday penguins as I am in this exact moment, but I thought they were pretty nifty. She comes to the rescue. She comes to the rescue. Was this Holly Hobby? Oh yeah, it's Holly Hobby glass. She comes to the rescue. I do come to the rescue. Thank you, thank you. See this? Oh, he's cute. He's got two humps too. Yeah, I don't know if there's more of them, but I don't think there mm. is. I'm looking. Oh, Holly Hobby um, Christmas. Yeah, it's a look, Coca-Cola limited oh, edition. That's cute. You know what I just noticed out of the corner of my eye? What? This really interesting snow globe. This is wild. Look at this, Shane. Right? I was just looking at that too. That's oh, like that's... insane. Would you help me flip this over and see what's going on? It looks heavy. It looks like it's a music box. Made in it's China. Mark. Oh, yeah, Sanyoka? it is. Okay. Sankyo. Interesting. Wow. I saw another snow globe that I wanted to check out back there. And this caught my eye. Thomas Kincaid. This thing is massive. It's $15, 25% off. I'm going to look this up. The water's gone yellow, but I know there are ways to replace this water if you wanted to. Huh. Found a nice little snow globe there, Janine. Yeah. It's Just a in 56. It's different for a Christmas um, snow globe. Hmm. Janine, did you see the mini um, gumball machine for $4? You go with the big one. Work on the big one? Is this Taiwan? Yeah. Cute. Yeah, it's cute. It's fun. This is also cute, this uh, cookie drawer. It's you and Olive. What are these? Oh, uh, for golfing? Ah. I like these cats. Look at these cats. They're together. Well, Isn't that cute? I was gonna ask if you saw on the other aisle the, um, the wooden bird. No. It has a crack in it and a chip uh, on the one like eye. Mm. It was really cute. It looked like a kookaburra type. Oh, uh, no, I didn't see that. Janine found a um, baby Donald Duck from 1986. 
It's like vinyl. It's like a squeaky toy almost. Yeah, and then there's a cookie monster. Oh, he's older too. Huh. Made in China. Play school. Six dollars for the bag. Two Ouija boards, guys. This is the newer one. I think this one's a bit older, maybe. Maybe not, actually. I don't know. I won't be picking those up. This looks real interesting. What is going on here? We've got some ceramics. There's a leptin right here. Weird. It's broken. Everything's like really broken. Her hand is broken right there. I don't know if you guys can see. Some older reindeer. But everything's like broken. That's too bad. We've got limbs detached. It would have been six dollars, fifty percent off for the bag. So this bag's probably been here for like a week or so. Just getting busted. It's too bad. Older Snoopy plush, little devil Snoopy. That's cute. Made in China. He's really dirty on his face though. He's cute. Oh, look at that Clifford. I think I had this and I think I detached the, the baby little baby Clifford? Clifford and just played with the baby Clifford. I probably would have done the same. How cute yeah. is that? Oh, 1992 Janine. Cute. I love that. Oh no. Love his shape. Look how shapely he is. This is cute too. Look at this um Snoopy, Janine. Got the tag, little devil snoops. Oh, yeah, it's fun, it was right? A chocolate. For oh, for Valentine's Day. Day. Yeah, he has some chocolate dirty. on his face. Janine found a 1998 Max from the Grinch. Mm -hmm. And his then I found collar's this. got some stuff on it though. Do you see that? Yeah, he's a little dirty. Mm. And I found a 1999 Grinch. You gotta find the matching 1998 no. Wait, what was it? 98 mm -hmm. Grinch or 99 Max. I want to show you this too. A little Jimmy Cricket. Wow. Oh. And he's only $1.99, which Not is bad. really good because sometimes they mark these older Disney plush up. Say the old Disney tag on the bottom there. Mmm. And it's got the old Disney. Yep store tag wow i'm fine i don't believe he's worth a whole lot so i'm probably gonna put him back but fun to find him who is he janine <laughs> janine's like cleaning up the plush off the ground she's literally too kind and nice um that was already there before we came on this aisle um they should give you a discount janine what they should give you a discount they do enough they do enough <laughs> look at this though how amazing is this I love that. I actually do love that. Is there a date on there? No, it doesn't look like it. It looks like it's made in China as well. It's probably from the 90s. 90s yeah. Plastic eyes. That is a good find, and that's flying right into the cart. Stop, guys. Look how cute this is. Little tiny parachute scarecrows for 99 cents. Two of them. Look how cute this is. Aww. They're two scarecrow then parachutes. <laughs> Why? Isn't that cute? That's so cute. Oh, score. Why do I like these silly things? Why do I enjoy this? Look, Janine. Monkeys with little scarves are quite delightful. That's cute. It reminds me of something from like Target, you know, and mm. the, they have all the plush, yeah. which every year hurts, right? Yeah. There's even this little old guy. He's like a little warlock. Look at this, too. Sometimes you see these at the thrift store. Oh, yeah. The Beanie Baby. It's... Oh my god, is it unopened? Yeah. Oh, mm. somewhat opened? Wow. Let's look at this. That's fun. And I've seen them at the thrift store for like. 10 to 20 dollars so look you got the little tag, tag jackets. jackets you got the little play uh collector's cards right you got your little beanie and your certificate of and authenticity your, your wow that person like collected did you see all the ones marked no oh wow wow i bet we could find them in the bag <laughs> <laughs> they're all hung up on the shelves here <laughs> 
Here, Janine, I found the other camel for you. No, it doesn't match it. It's actually from uh, the Prince of Prince Egypt. Of Great movie. She took the words out of my mouth. I read them, actually. <laughs> Off that tag. Oh, my goodness. Got a whole, like, Pokemon card just out set here. Someone opened up. Look at this mug, guys. Protonics. You know, some, like, pharmaceutical stuff can really sell. Um, let me check. So I just checked this guy. It does have a chip here, which I actually just noticed. Um, this can go for, like, 15 plus shipping on eBay. It's only 99 cents. I sort of love this little character guy. I don't know. I think that's so fun. I don't know. It's going in the cart for now. This is a fun cancer mug. Look at that. That's really cool. Huh. Some Star Wars from 2011. We got some really cool uh, sharks in there, though. That's yeah, fun. Yeah, he's a little uh, warm. He's also yeah. made in China. Mm -hmm. I'll put it, put it back. Putting them dinos back. I couldn't find any more dinosaurs either. They were like older. Mm. Did you see that ugly doll right, right, no. right to your right? I think Where? it's a newer one, right there. Oh yeah, that's a newer. Yeah. After a long and treacherous digging through in the woods. I know. I was like chopping down trees, stepping over big logs, climbing boulders. Did you find anything? We found a couple things today, didn't we? Yeah, I was sort of surprised, actually. Yeah, I actually found something really cool. I think it's really cool. I don't think we caught this on camera because it was behind the jewelry case, but I picked up this Bailey's button. It is from 1990, which I really thought was cool. I thought this was maybe a little bit later, um, maybe like later 90s, but 1990. I thought it was really cool. has a devil on it, has this quote, which i don't know kind of kind of creepy isn't it fun add it to the halloween button collection which is a it's a growing one it's growing slowly there's a couple in there it's not don't don't give me laura's giving me a face behind the camera <laughs> we don't have that many vintage buttons um vintage halloween buttons what you think we do i think considering how hard they are to find we have a good amount she might be right <laughs> But yeah, this is going right into the collection. I actually think I'm gonna put it on right now. Found this little Grinch, <laughs> really little Grinch from 1999. He's made by Hallmark. I thought he was really cute. Um, I don't know, I, there's like certain Grinch things that I really like. I recently went to Home Goods and actually purchased a modern like um, Grinch mug. And it has like the artwork of, of like I guess the original artwork of, of Grinch on there. And um, I thought it was really cute. And this one I think is actually really cute. I don't know, some Grinch plush aren't as cute as others. I don't know if, I, I, were we making videos? I think we were making videos like three years ago when I found, if anyone remembers this, if we have it in a video, which I'm not 100% sure, I found a big Grinch plush, Laura. You mm -hmm. know that one I have? Yep, the I have big a, one. A big one. Um, He's like a dark Kelly green. And so this is the second little Grinch. Now, <laughs> now I think it'd be cute. Maybe I could put him on his lap. <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was really cute. And I found a Max plush, which I'll show you, from 1998. I found this Max plush. I thought it was really cute. He's from 1998. Again, also made by Hallmark. You are wondering how I wash any of the plush that I find. I typically um, soak the plush if the plush can be completely submerged in water. If not, then I'll do like spot cleaning. But I will submerge it in warm water with a little bit of OxyClean and a little bit of Dawn dish soap and scrub it. And if I can get it into the dryer, if I can put it in a dryer and it won't get destroyed, I'll do that. Otherwise, I'll try to put it outside in the sun and uh, dry it that way. Here's to hoping that he comes out good. I'm not gonna get any closer to him, spare you guys the details, but um, he's pretty cute yeah. from a distance. Yeah. No, I, I think he'll come out okay. Yeah, I, I, I do too. I mean, I have I bought enough plush to know that like this isn't like the worst thing in the world, but there are a couple stains on there that are questionable. I picked up this really cute, cute, cute ceramic. It's definitely a newer ceramic. And by newer, I mean probably from like the 80s. Um, I think it might've 
broken between when we filmed and just now because it has a pretty big chip. I don't remember if that chip was there, but you know, I'm not too upset because with pieces that are a bit newer from like the 80s, um, they were mainly painted matte. So this will be really easy to color match. I'm a pretty good color matcher um, when it comes to my ceramics. So I'll honestly just like color match it and I think it'll look pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, especially since it's like this garland that's sort of bumpy, you won't really even realize. Um, this is a little bank. It doesn't have any markings, but if I were to guess, this is definitely a Taiwan piece. Um, 19, late 70s, early 80s, and really, really cute. I just love the little snowman and Santa on the front, and I only paid $1.50 for this. The vintage Halloween plush continues, and I think today's finds were really, really good. First up, we have these two little twinsy so parachute cute. scarecrows. Aren't they adorable? They're adorable. so small. And these uh, tags are actually marked. They're from 1997, and they are made by Gibson, so probably like a Hallmark piece. I thought they were so cute. I've never seen little parachute guys this tiny. Um, these will probably, or at least one, stay in the collection. And then I was super, super excited to find this guy. Mm -hmm. He's just like a plush made in China, but you could tell he's vintage with those plastic eyes and nose. You really don't see plush today made with plastic eyes like this. Um, and just like the little felt teeth, like he so screams cute. vintage 90s Halloween. He's really cute. He might even have been like a claw machine toy back in the day. Um, he was $3, but I think he was 50% off. So he was only $1.50 and these guys were 99 cents. Amazing scores. They're gonna go right into the collection and we will decorate with these for Halloween. I did end up picking up the Protonix mug. Um, I paid 99 cents for it, actually 75 cents. I think it was 25% um, off. And I did notice that it had a chip right along the edge there. And for that reason, I did not pick it up to resell. I'm gonna keep this guy. I just sort of fell in love with this character. <laughs> I think it's very um, where the wild things are-esque. Mm -hmm. And this little sleeping one reminds me of Bijou, my little puppy, my dog, who's not really a puppy. She's 14 years old. Um, and thank you to everyone on Instagram who wished her a happy birthday. She yeah, was so happy. So sweet. It's so sweet. It makes me so happy that she has um, a lot of friends out there. So she just celebrated her 14th birthday. I'm going to use this in the collection um, until I am no longer using it. And then I'll probably redonate it back. That's something I like to do is like pick up new mugs um, when they're cheap enough, use them for a bit and return them back. Um, it's just a fun thing that I enjoy doing. So thank you all so much for watching today's video. We hope you had fun coming along on our thrifting adventure. Also wanted to thank you guys who purchased our t-shirts or pins over on our uh, Friday the 13th sale that we had. Uh, we really appreciate it. We're getting all of those, either they've been shipped out or they're shipping out uh, today. So thank you so much. Um, we really appreciate that. And um, what else, Laura? What else? Um, I hope you guys have a great day. Yeah, have a great day. I hope you guys are having a fun spooky season. Mm -hmm. um, and we appreciate all the support. And if you haven't subscribed already, consider hitting that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye.